very little chance and time to think about the disease causing urgent in that window. It's until when you start seeing the observable effects. The diseases are emerging. There is a disease outbreak. There is increased susceptibility to diseases. There is reduced lives past. And basically, the One Health approach, if we use it and the target to work where there are no observable detrimental effects, where we are able to predict, detect, if at all, their challenges and find a mechanism of dealing with either the host or the agent, it always become too late. I'm showing you the area which has been forgotten over the years. And uh, that is key for emerging of diseases. And in most cases, most of the scientists would work where you are seeing the observable detrimental effect. So this topic was really touching in the sense that we are thinking about what is there in air, what is there in the aquatic environment, where the aquatic and the terrestrial animals live. Let us reflect back. In a classical approach, that always work where you have observable detrimental effects, the key question is, what can I do as a human doctor, as an animal health worker, think about the tourist, the tourism industry, think about trade, <clears throat> and many others. So in most cases, the question is, what can I do from your sphere of your profession? In reality, over the years, we are now talking about the One Health approach, where we are moving from the vertical approach in your profession like animal health or human health specialist in a particular disease, then you talk from the horizontal approach that you need different disciplines to work together, to pull all the efforts, work together. By doing so, with such integrated approach, we are likely to succeed. I'm pointing this diagram for, I think uh, uh, I did it in one of the presentations, that in the past, we have been uh, working in silos and so to speak the downstream approach when you have a river flowing basically the previous approach over the years has been when you wait until when you have the disease downstream is when you start working indeed what we need to change is to go upstream instead of waiting until when you have the disease, if in particular in humans, because when you have disease in animals, you have cases like Rift Valley fever outbreaks when it occurred in the Tanzania, for example. You could see much vigor and the support from the government when you had outbreak in humans. But by then it was too late. We ended up losing animals in the human animals. What we are saying in the paradigm of shift going upstream, then we should have appropriate measures at the beginning and so to speak, if you recall my previous figure here, this is the place, this is the, the area where we should put our efforts. Where you don't see observable effects, but with the knowledge we are having currently, we should be able to predict, we should be able to detect, and then find the solutions. We have some reports so far. It has been proven beyond doubt that if you have exposure in animals, and in my view could be aquatic animals or terrestrial animals, people have been asking, why, what are you talking about aquatic animals? Members, we know very little. Of recent, you have heard about isolation of pathogenic uh, brucella uh, in frogs. Mm -hmm. You are getting now uh, some pathogens and aquatic animals, which were not there, in my view, is an area which you must work. So you can have uh, clinical science in animals, but in most cases the response is very poor. You can have exposure in humans, but before you get the disease, the response could be very poor. It's when you have the clinical science of a particular disease in humans when you find intervention is taking place. And in most cases, humans, when they are seeking medical care, is when you have the outbreak. But mind you, 
the disease has passed in several stages. Our economists with their data, they have proved beyond doubt that if we work using the One Health approach and intervene when there is exposure of a particular pathogen, making it transmittable to human beings, it becomes very late. So if we follow the model, it is evident that power of One Health approach, as I stated earlier on, we are considering two main issues. Number one, becoming effectiveness, doing the right thing to get the desired results, where we can predict, detect, prevent, and respond. And sometimes you talk about control, but for emerging, uh, for, for, for emerging diseases, for example, the high, pan, uh, the, 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 the the, the, the emerging pandemic threats, there is no point for control, we eradicate. Doing the things right, achieving the right results, at a least cost, is a desired uh, required outcome. Members, thank you very much for listening.